and also also the depth. And it's something that get people say width and depth, but they are the, the keys to to building an attack. So if you're playing in the middle, guys off the ball, it's the practice we did at the start, working off the ball. You need to work back sometimes to give yourself the room to then come onto the ball and give it inertia so you can attack the line. Um, so those are the things I go with. Um, and as I said, you can never you can never hammer your basic skills hard enough. Those always need work. So yeah. it was good. I enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Anyone else? Why did you start playing rugby? <laughs> uh, I started when I was eight. Um, dad, my dad just took me along to the local rugby club. Um, started playing touch for a year and then uh, got into tackling and went from there. Just played at school after that and then at university. Yeah. Kind of built slowly. Yeah. So, what is like you know? New Zealand has been winning all the World Cup since you know five six years, maybe five five six you know terms. What is England thinking about it? Um, I think that it for until about. Why, why I asked you this question is because you are the you know England started the game. I think uh, it should be you know. Uh, all the all the expectations of players is like England should be in a good position. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, and I think until about a year ago, I think even English players were a bit fearful of New Zealand, and that was the kind of there was that fear factor, which meant that you're never going to beat them. So, but I, times have changed, and I think now you can see with the 15s team, they've had a couple of good results against the Kiwis, and they started beating them. Um, and people are kind of they're getting knocked off their perch every now and again, and the more times that happens. You know, the more the more chance teams have got of building confidence in those games going forward. Um, you know, sevens they've been dominant for so long, um, and they've got so, they've got a good system. They've got a huge pool of players that all understand the game really well, um, and that's the difference. They've actually they grow up playing the game, whereas a lot of sevens players in England, they're basically the majority of their sevens will be playing for England, and they won't have had a, a long history of playing. So um, it's just that yeah. The, the thing is in England, we need to start really building the grassroots, which I know sounds silly coming here where there isn't really a, a, a grassroots setup. Compared, but in England, compared to some places, it's, it's not a good system the way that kids are brought through. Um, so that needs to be addressed. And then, you know, it'd probably be decades until it really shifts, but that's how long it takes. Yeah, he's very keen on sevens. <laughs> you almost took on a whole team there. <laughs> <laughs> I think our level of game is somewhere else, maybe. Hiyo, <laughs> hiyo. Okay, just start again. Yeah. How? Uh, yeah. How have you been watching the uh, the Kabaddi League that's happening here? No, I, I've the heard about it. Oh like, yeah, you need to. But I haven't been following it. It's quite rugby-like. Yeah. Just yeah. the Um. So I'm gonna have to get into it. Have you have you faced the Hakka and does that give? Do you think that gives you gives them a mental edge? Has that affected you? I've, never, you I've never faced it actually. Uh, in sevens, they don't do it before the game. They only do it when they win. So I've seen it a lot, but um, <laughs> I've never actually seen it before a game. Um, again, maybe it used to. Maybe not anymore though. Um, I don't know. I bet it'd be an amazing experience. I'd love to do it one day. Uh, probably the, the when I was first picked, because um, that was, was out of university. They were both big shots. Yeah, well, I was still studying at the time as well. So. Um, yeah, they were both big surprises. I was more scared when I was asked to take on the captain. That was my initial feeling was one of fear and thought, don't mess this up. Else. <laughs> Did you take take over from Ben Golding? No, no. Tom Powell was the captain at the start of the season. Before that, <laughs> the dangerous thing is we've had about five different captains in five years. <laughs> so I'm hoping <laughs> I'm gonna buck the trend, but you never know. This could be it. I could be out. Now. Have you uh, have you ever timed yourself on a, on a hundred meter dash? Uh, Not on a hundred. No, we do forty meter times. Yeah. Um, and the quickest. Dan Norton got uh, 4.68, which is quite quick. And, and what's yours? I got 4.89, I think was my quickest, which is all right. It's not bad. I wouldn't, yeah, yeah, it's not bad. It's, uh, the sprinters do like four or five. How was it like 
playing against Carl and I, I mean, it's sure yeah. and I, he's, he's having a sensation. <laughs> So I, I thought it was all unnecessary hype until I played against him. True. <laughs> and I didn't lay a finger on him because he went all the way around. He's quick, yeah, he's quick. I mean, he's a great example of someone who, who's just learning the game and, you know, his pace it gets him in trouble sometimes because it's all he's got, but at the same time he scores some great tries just from being so quick. And that's what Stephens gives you, individual flair and talent like that comes through. Um, and he's learning as he goes. You know, he might not be able to progress to the next level because he's his skills might not be good enough, um, but you know he's enjoying it, and it's great for people to watch. That's the game for sure. Is he back? I mean, he signed with Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. I think that was a short time. for a month or so and left. Signed for the Celtics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who, who the who the? Tell us some of the weird stories or weird characters yeah. on the HSBC Seven series, either in England in the English team or. I gotta keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> I think all the kids are gone. <laughs> um, Last question. Uh, <laughs> no. um, I'm trying to think of a good story for you. <laughs> I can actually. No, no. But there are other ladies. There are ladies present. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Very professional. Um, no, I mean, uh, the, boy, the boys. It is. It is hard work for the most part, but we're lucky because. We get to have, um, after the tournament, after the second of the two tournaments in pairs, we have a good night out, so Vegas is always a good spot for that. <laughs> <laughs> so the rumour is that Vegas is being wiped off the uh, series. In, in two years, it'll be a different venue in America. So the boys, even though it's not the best run tournament and, and all that, all the boys are a bit disappointed. It's a good night out there. So. Um, yeah. so a lot of guys here believe that rugby players don't drink at all. Is it true? It, it's, you know what, you can't, get away with, you can't get away with drinking too much if you play seven week in, week out. But, um, I mean, you know, everyone enjoys uh, enjoys themselves usually after a game. Especially in 15, all the premiership. It's a shame not to enjoy yourself and with the other team. I think that's one of the best things about it. It's one of the few sports where you can really go out with the other team, share a beer and talk about the game, even if you had a fight, whatever. You know. How do you rate yourself? Are you a weekend drinker? <laughs> no, I don't think I'd be in a job if I was drinking every weekend. Um, to be honest, during the season, it's normally only when we're at tournaments that you get a chance to have a night out. Because all the team does it. So. Um, apart from that, it's hard to drink. I am the English ale. Just, 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 just lastly, Tom. Um, why and when will you be back here? <laughs> <laughs> soon, we soon, when I'm fit to run around again. We we'll plan a tournament around. Yeah, we we'll plan a tournament around. <laughs> and you can keep I'll sending bring your buddies. I'll bring a team. Yeah, I'll yeah. bring a team. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 hey, yeah, it is. Touch, it totally <laughs> is. We're only coming for touch. <laughs> this is too hot. Nah, this is, we'll come. We'll, we'll bring a team when I'm fit. <laughs> sure. Can we give a big round of applause, please? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, cones and balls, please. I'll uh, just put it back in the air. Hey, one I'm not sure if you're a good person. 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 I'm not sure if you're